Hi, I'm Adli. I'm the owner of this channel. In this time, I wanted to show you how I clean up my gameplay audio using Adobe Audition. And as you can see, in this channel, I uploaded a gameplay video daily, once in a day. So, with my limited sources that I have right now, I finally found how to clean up my audio using Adobe Audition with my limited sources. Okay. So, let's begin. Okay, introduction. I am someone I am someone who have limited sources. It's not that limited, but I, I mean it's enough to produce a good audio, I think. I have by uh, a one a hardware a microphone audio like this one which is good enough but apparently this is mm, well basic compared to other high device which I do not have budget yet to produce so I also live in an environment where it's where it's actually mm, not that quiet enough because as you can as you can hear uh, during this video there are a lot of vehicle sound in the outside and it's this microphone could pick those noises so but it could pick my noises clean enough see as you can hear there are a lot of vehicle sound right now it's morning at 7 and it's really noisy and then I'm also someone who's not that master enough in terms of audio mastering but I do know at least a few bits regarding uh, what a clean audio means and I also wanted to keep my YouTube audio level in similar level with other videos in YouTube I mean if you click if you do right click on some video in YouTube and in desktop and you uh, click stats for nurse you can see how YouTube actually normalize audio automatically in YouTube and I will explain that more later on okay so if you are someone like that then this video is probably for you a quick disclaimer again as I said before I'm not a master in mixing or mastering the audio I also do not have any degree related to this audio or technique called degree but I am feeling confused because it's hard to follow some tutorials in the internet. I mean, if you see YouTube videos, um, most of these tutorials show us a tutorial where the audio source is already clean enough. Like it's really, I mean, it's basically no noise at all in the background and it's actually really clear and they and I believe most of them are produced with a really high quality audio but for someone who only have limited sources like us who do not stay in studio like this is just my room and this is like basically real life mm. like this is the only sources that I have right now I also only have this laptop I only have this microphone how is it possible for us who have these limited sources who could actually produce a good one too? So, oh, I also found some videos that actually show us or give us some good tips but instead of um, giving a clear direction on how to produce a better sound with limited sources they gave us something else like use this mask use this software use this hardware but at the same time we couldn't use some software because our laptop or our device is probably kind of limited like there is a video where i see it suggests us to use a software entitled voice matter voice meter but when I try the software, it's so huge and lag to run in my laptop, so I, I cannot recommend to do that. 
I also have recorded a lot of footage in this past few days. And what can I do to clean up all of these footage? So in this video, I will show you how I clean up my multi-track audio from gameplay recording in OBS using Adobe Audition. I usually recorded my gameplay since February or mid-February using OBS and every recording is always saved into two different audio tracks. So track one is for a desktop or speaker sound and then the track two is for my voice like this one in microphone the program that i will use is only adobe audition but later after i i will show you how i clean up my audio in adobe audition and later i will clean up those video using kden live and then i'm going to upload it to youtube to show you the proof hardware and that i haven't used like i've said for a microphone i have I have this one, Boya BYMM1. Practically, this is basic. It's not that high quality, and I do not have a noise proof room. So if you if you can hear like right now, you can hear motorcycle sound, a car sound, and everything in this environment is basically picked up by this microphone. I also do not like using the uh, noise gate or noise suppression feature in OBS because later the audio quality when I clean it up in Adobe Audition is not as good as I wanted to. I also have this basic tripod. It's not a tripod like how those other content creators use. But this is a basic tripod which usually used for photography but it's enough for me because what I need is just something that could help my microphone still like this one i also use lenovo idea idea pad flex 5 as a laptop and that's it okay so moving on this is my previous video that i have um, that i have scheduled on my youtube channel if you could see here i think i'm going to zoom this thing later this is this is the volume, this is normalized. The volume is 100%, the video volume. And the content loudness here is minus 18.8 decibel. The audio for this video is still can be heard. If you hear the, if you play the video, you can still hear the audio, but it's quiet enough. Like if I play it in my laptop, I could use my laptop audio level in 36 or 50 at least and I could still hear the audio of this video but in my phone if I play this video in probably middle level like probably 8 out of, out of 16 then I couldn't hear the audio of this video later if I move the audio volume into maximum then i could hear the audio which means this is so quiet then i clean it up and now my content loudness is minus 6.7 which is so much better and in my opinion is actually um in the same level as other video on youtube for example this one this is red velvet video from Red Velvet YouTube channel and you can see that content loudness here is minus 6.4 decibel. This is basically still, I mean the audio can be heard clear enough. Like you do not need to put your device audio to maximum to hear the audio from the video which is good enough I think. If you click other video, there is some video actually have this number in positive but i still do not have um a reason as to why some content loudness is positive and some are negative but as i believe um what if my understanding is actually correct so if it's minus which means your video output is really uh, loud 
but if it's positive probably it's not loud enough probably because from a few from a few page and video that I have seen YouTube is YouTube normalized our audio to minus 15 minus 14 loves I don't understand what those what, what does those mean so yeah so this is the steps that I will do for this video first I'm going to drag the recording to my Adobe audition I'm going to turn off one audio extract one audio each audio to new file and then for my voice I'm going to normalize it first oh I'm going to normalize it to six minus six decibel not this one this is wrong and then capture noise print and then noise reduction and then parametric EQ and then this two step is optional I do this two step later only if my audio is not clean enough and then for my game sound the only step that I will do is just this one normalize to minus 12 decibel and then later I'm going to mixing so my voice I'm going to do this effect single band compressor I'm gonna use vocal booster and then I'm going to put loudness render and CD master and then for my game sound I'm going to use multiband compressor and broadcast and then loudness render and CD master and then I'm going to export and that's it okay let's go so here I am I'm going to continue the progress wait a second okay first I'm going to open the audio uh, the Adobe audition okay first I'm going to open the Adobe audition and I'm going to open the Windows Explorer okay okay so the video that I'm going to use is this one this is a game this is from a game entitled strange toilet and okay this is my Adobe audition workspace okay the first step previously was to direct the audio the recording to here okay so as you can see it's starting to processing the audio if you click it twice like this and it's going to be to show like this one this one on the bottom is the preview uh, window of adobe audition and this is the main window okay first i'm going to okay so if you could hear this wait okay now Okay, this is another game entitled Strange Toilet. So if you could see, this is for audio, left, right, left, right. Oh no, this is two audio, left, right, left, right. So the audio, two audio in the top is for my gameplay. The game, the sound from the desktop or the game. And then this one is my voice. Okay, first I'm going to turn off these two because this is from the game I'm going to extract these two only by clicking this right click yes then I'm going to extract the audio okay now this is the recording from my voice only as you can see there's this is only two left and right and then now I'm going to do normalize first by click effect and then I'm going to do normalize I'm going to normalize this into wait a second let's see first if there is any other noises here oh my god okay oh I never lie we oui. This is an optional step because previously on my other gameplay I could hear uh, my coughing sound which produced a really high noise and it's loud enough so I need to do this 
spot healing brush tool to clean those audio because it's not needed but in this audio i didn't see any audio that is loud enough like i mean it's not um, this if you could hear is how i reacting in, how i reacted in this in the game so let's continue i'm going to do this thing first let's normalize this into minus six okay see you can see how my environment is really loud and so noisy And I need to record my gameplay on midnight because it's more quiet. Sir. Okay, let's continue. So I did normalizing to six decibel. Now I'm going to find a clean part where it's actually just noise. Okay, this is just noise. I'm going to use this as noise print. I'm going to right click and then capture noise print and now I'm going to wait a second I'm going to do this noise reduction I'm going to select entire file okay let's turn on the preview okay so um, previously in my audio setting for something like this when my environment is really noisy and then I have this one my mouth the distance from my microphone and my mouth is this far so this is I think is the best setting for my microphone the noise reduction is 50 the reduce is 10 and this blue line I still do not understand what is this actually for okay let's hear some part okay okay now I'm going to try and okay now I'm going to try and okay now I'm going to try another game let's see somewhere else that I actually speak more than this one kitchen and a few doors oh there is kitchen and a few doors this one is our door oh no this is a bedroom this is the original audio and you could see how it's uh it have that i don't know his sound or static sound behind like it's not clean enough so i'm going to try this thing oh there is kitchen and a few doors this one is our door oh no this is a bedroom so it must be this one oh there is kitchen and a few doors okay this one is our door oh no this is you can hear the difference right bedroom. like you can hear the difference like like uh it's for me, it's clear the difference between if I use the noise reduction or no. So I'm going to do this and apply. Okay, that's it. Now you can see that most of this wait a second i'm going to change into this so you can see now most of this is actually uh black now compared to before okay which means that the audio is has have been cleaned at least some okay now i'm going to continue i'm going to apply another one uh, another effect entitled parametric equalizer this one for this one, I have tried a few things, right, like this, 12 April 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I tried to like a few other testing, but I didn't find something that's actually suitable for my audio. So this is 
the setting for my audio I'm going to show you how each previously and why I believe this is the best setting for my like in this in this uh, position let's see nothing oh. I slide then no I did decline the call no? good game oh, this is not that fun because I could only use a touchpad so my move I did decline the call no? I did decline the call no? okay this is 12 April 5 I'm going to try this thing I did decline the call no? 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 So after a few testing, I believe this is the best setting for me. But like other video, how to clean up things, I guess you could try to play with this button. Like for example, this one. This is the original one that I wanted to use, but at the same time, it's still kind of noisy. I did decline the call, no? See? I did decline the call, no? My voice can be heard clearly, but at the same time, it's not as good as this one. I did decline the call, no? It's not as good as those high quality microphone that is really expensive, probably, but at least this is clear enough for me to hear my sound clearly. I also tried to with this button H and also with Alt P. So if you okay, I'm going to try this thing. I'm going to try this oh thing. God. But he didn't grasp though when we enter the room. So if oh I move this the LP into this grasp, area though or this into the other the area, room, so you can hear it. It's actually kind of oh noisy. God. But he didn't grasp. So if I move H and LP to this area, not on previous area, you can hear it's actually so much noisier. Hence why I place H a around this area before and LP to around this area to, I don't know, to block this high frequency audio. It's so hard to do recording in this kind of time. It's so noisy. Okay, I'm going to show you once more what happened if I place H and LP near this oh. area. When we enter the room, so... My god, but he didn't grasp, though. Okay. When we enter the room, to find so something else. Yeah. Find a call, no? Okay, this is not that fun because I could only use a touchpad. So my movement is kind of limited. I did decline the call, no? Oh, this is not that fun because I could only use a touchpad. So my movement is kind of limited. Okay, so I guess... Eh, wait a second. Oh, this is not that fun because I could only use a touchpad. So, so for me, I guess this is okay. So I'm going to press apply. So for parametric equalizer, eh, no, for my webcam or my audio, my voice, this is enough. So I'm going to back to this area. I'm going to turn on the game audio and then I'm going to turn off my voice. And I'm going to extract another one like this. This is 
the game audio. Clog the toilet. No, I didn't. Who do you think I am? For this one, the only thing that I will do is to normalize because it's a game, a sound from the game, which means it's already masterized by the developer. So the only thing that left to do is to normalize this into minus 12. You probably wonder why I uh, why I normalize the audio for this one into minus 12 and the other one my voice into minus 6. Uh, there's an article in Filmstro. Wait, let me show you the article. So, in this article, you could see that YouTube videos normalize their full audio mix, all audio combined between minus 12 to minus 12 and uh, minus 20. So, for dialogue, it's, uh, it's better to use minus 6 until minus 15, and then overall mix level minus 12, music minus 18, and sound effects is minus 14. Because my gameplay audio usually consists of two audio dialogue by me speaking or reacting to the game and then also the game sound I decided to use the overall mix level into minus 12 and the dialogue is minus 6 I think that's better because my current audio the latest one that I show you before is actually good enough okay that's it I have normalized this before now let's go to mixing now I'm going to click this one, insert into multi-track, new multi-track session. I'm going to place this into hmm, let's move this into the previous area here. Okay. I'm going to rename this into 114. Okay, so this is the game sound. And then I'm going to move this one here this is my voice you can hear his uh, this is the mixing of these two audio okay, now i'm going to try another game okay this is another game entitled strange toilet so um, as I show you before in my PowerPoint presentation, uh, the only effect that I'm going to do here is just this one, single band compressor for, no, this is a game sound, so I'm supposed to use a multi-band compressor and use this, use broadcast. I do not understand yet what this effect do, but from what I understand, my limited understanding is this is com this is kind of limited your audio to this kind of number value so it's not or it doesn't go up or down from this area i think this is better because this is just a game sound and then i'm going to add another one entitled loudness radar meter and I'm going to choose CD master so for CD master in here you can see the target loudness is minus 15 okay FS is I believe is similar understanding with, with LUFS so I choose this one because this is the closest one to what this article show us before it's around minus 12 to minus 20 if I choose other setting here it's minus 24 and it's so far below see hence why I chose CD master okay now the other one this is my voice I'm going to do a single band compressor here and I'm going to choose focal booster you could see here the output gain is 10 decibel 
more and you could see other value here I'm just going to use this default value and then I'm going to choose the same one loudness radar mixer after I click this this is going to apply the effect from my understanding so now the only thing left for me is to export this thing okay so i guess that's it like this is the end not the end like end like really and because i have to show you the proof of how the audio later will be on youtube mm, i guess oh, no after this i'm going to show you how i'm going to export this audio this is still separated into two audio so i'm going to show you um I'm going to export this into one file like this one into one WAV WAV file so I could compare you how originally the audio was in this in left side and then how the audio that I have cleaned up in the right side you probably you probably will also hear that this for this my voice is not as clean enough like it's not as clean as a song or a high quality microphone but i guess this is the best audio yet that i could produce for my gameplay with these limited sources i have right now so here right now i'm i'm using another program entitled shutter encoder this program is quite handy and it's super light it has a lot of feature and now I'm, I am using this to replace the audio this is the original video oh no 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 this is the original video and this is uh, an extracted audio so those two audio those those two different audio before one from my gameplay and one for from my voice like this one is already mixed into one audio this one and this is what we have cleaned up before in adobe audition this is mixing from two audio the original one that i haven't cleaned up yet and this i'm going to try and i'm going to mix another one this one to here so now it's I'm going to replace rename this thing first original then I'm going to do this now for the second replacing audio this one is the audio that we have cleaned before and this is the original one I'm going to compare these two so you could hear how it differ from the original one when it is still kind of have that hiss or background noise or static noise I believe I, I guess in the background and the one that I have clean up Okay, we are done. So I'm going to open this thing first. 
Wait, let me... Let me change this thing, general, and multiple instances, and I'm enable. I'm going to open another one. Okay. So, on the left, wait, let me change this thing first. Six. This one, I'm going to show this. Okay, so you can see this is the original one, the audio from original one, and this is our what we have cleaned up before. Okay, now I'm going to try another game. And a local news update on cameras in the city. A handle. Oh my god. But he didn't grasp, though. You can hear how it still has that static noise or some sound in the background. Like it's, I don't know what the term for this one, like hiss probably or static noise or some noisy background. But here I have clean and leave, leave, like remove the, uh, those noise in the background. Okay, now I'm going to try another game. It's around. I accept. No, I. Where could I have a handle? Where could I have a handle? Oh my God! But he didn't grasp, though, when we entered the room. So. Oh my God! But he didn't grasp, though. See, that's the difference. Like, even though my voice here probably sounds kind of, mm, I don't know how to say this, it. like solid, like kind of muffed, but it's more clean, and I like this up output more. Okay, now I have show you the difference. I'm going to upload this two video on my YouTube channel. And I will show you the proof how the how YouTube actually normalize our our audio automatically. Okay, to close this video, I'm going to show you the previous one. Wait a second. I'm going to show you. This is what I show you before, and you will, if you could see here. Wait a second. Let me try. It. Oh, okay, totally could be seen better here if you can this the content loudness is minus 18.8 .8 decibel this one is minus 6.7 this one let's see this is minus 25 and this one is minus 7.6 this is the beast of alien this is a uh, gameplay that I have scheduled to release on 17 May if I remember correctly and here is the audio see you can hear it's still kind of noisy in the background I'm going to change and this is lights out the one that I have saved game before so game entitled lights out that I have clean the audio you couldn't see you couldn't hear the noise behind and the content loudness is minus 6.7 if you hear this on a smartphone then it's going to sound at the same level as other video in YouTube mostly in general and this is the original audio that we haven't cleaned up before See, the title is same, original. You can hear the noise right now. This is another game entitled Strange Toilet. But this is the content loudness is minus 25 decibel. If I, if I play this video on my smartphone, 
it's going to be really quiet i believe like the previous one like this one for this one i need to put my smartphone volume into maximum to hear the sound clearly and for this one i guess it's actually and for this one i guess it's going to be the same too and this one this this is what we have cleaned before what we have cleaned before which this is entitled clean up and now the, the normalized product after is minus 7.6 which basically almost the same with this one and i believe it will be it could be heard as clear as this one on my smartphone range toilet <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to try another game. Okay, I'm going to see this. Okay, now I'm going to try another game. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this video could be helpful for someone who's not mastery in audio mixing or mastering like me. See you on the next video.